Hello everyone. There will be a short demo video on the integration of WooCommerce and Priority ERP through AppSea Connect. We have a WooCommerce online store and demo database company of Priority ERP for which will be used for this demo purpose. So for the demo purpose, first I'll start off with the customer sync integration point and for that I need to add a new customer in WooCommerce. The customer synchronization will be taking place from WooCommerce to Priority. So for that, adding a new customer in WooCommerce, we need to put in the username, which is a mandatory field in WooCommerce. A unique email ID has to be put in. Once the customer details are added, I change the role of the customer from subscriber to customer and add the new user. Once the user is added here in WooCommerce, I'll expand the same to add in the billing and shipping address of the user. There can be different billing and shipping address, but here I'm using single address as the default address for both billing and shipping purpose. Once all the contact information is added, I simply update the user. Once the user is added in WooCommerce, I'll move into the AppSea Connect agent and trigger the integration point customer add. As I said, the customer will be added from WooCommerce to Priority. So after the sync is complete, we'll find the customer in Priority under the CRM tab. For that, we can search the customer with the customer name or number. Searching with the customer number 192, we can find here that the customer that I have just added in WooCommerce is successfully synced in Priority with all the contact information that has been added in WooCommerce. Now moving on to the next integration point that is products. For that, I'll add a new product in Priority and it will be synced back to WooCommerce. For adding a new product in Priority, I'll move into Inventory and under Part Catalog, I'll add a new product. I need to put in a part number which is mandatory and which has to be unique. The parts which are marked in red are mandatory and it has to be unique. Now here I need to check the purchase via website checkbox and under prices and cost I need to put in the wholesale price to get the unique unit price of the product in the website. Under Parts Remarks, I can add in the description. Once all the details are filled, I'll simply exit the form. And once the form is exit, I'll move on to the agent to integrate the same. For that, I'll just trigger the integration point Product Add. The product will be added from Priority to WooCommerce. We can see here the sync is complete and fast track watches with the SKU 439 is present here in WooCommerce. If we expand the same, I can find the description that I have put in as remarks in priority is present here with the price, which is the unit price of the product. Now the next integration point I would move on to is the inventory update. To increase the stock, I'll move into Priority and in Priority, I'll move into Warehouse Control under Inventory Count, I'll increase the count of the product. I need to put in the posting date here and I have to choose the Warehouse and under Inventory Count, I'll just add the part number for which I want to increase the inventory. Here I have to add the quantity, let that be 1300. And the approved checkbox needs to be checked. I'll exit the form in a similar way I did for products. And I'll trigger the integration point in our agent. 
Once the sync is complete, I'll just refresh the page in WooCommerce to get the inventory count that I have increased in priority. Under inventory, I can see the stock quantity as 1300 as I have just increased it in priority. So moving on to the next integration point that is orders. For that, I need to place an order in WooCommerce. For that, I'll move into add orders. And for the customer, I can add the customer name. And I'll add the state here. Adding the products and adding the shipping charges. Uh, I can change this to flat rate and naming this flat rate as well. Putting in the charge and saving the same. Once I save this, I'll recalculate to get the total order value. And once I get the total order value, I'll create the order. Once the order is created, that means the order is placed in WooCommerce. I'll simply move into the agent and trigger the integration point sales order add. As we can see, the sync is complete. So we can find the sales order under sales tab in priority. Searching for the sales order that I have placed in WooCommerce. I can search with the sales order number. So let that be 910. I can see the customer name and the price with the total order value and the items that has been ordered under the order items tab. So that is all for the demo purpose. Thank you.